Hi, this is Corey Chambers in Los Angeles. Your home sold, guaranteed, or I'll buy it. Thanks for taking a minute to listen in. In a moment, I'll share with you some valuable information about this topic. Real estate is dead. If you see any information, any properties that are of interest to you in this blog post or this video, let us know and if you'd like, we will gladly send you a property information packet of any property, loft, condo, house, and uh, if you'd like, we will also take you in for a viewing so you can see it in person. Now, real estate is dead. There's a, it's like a dead person in front of some real estate. Is real estate dead? So here is the real estate news. Compared to the brisk real estate market of two years ago, Real estate in Los Angeles and many other U.S. markets has fallen down and is in critical condition. Fewer people are moving, as most are now preferring to stay put while prices are at all-time highs, and many economists feel that a recession is looming. So people are just not moving. Buyers and sellers, neither one of them are doing very much around downtown Los Angeles. While real estate will never die permanently, the industry is already seeing a worldwide slowdown, which could turn into a panic-stricken sell-off when the next big recession hits, and that could happen very soon. Most real estate agents in the area are going, going broke right now as we speak, with some even joining the ranks of the homeless. In fact, I just heard of one about just a few days ago who said he's now homeless. The number of real estate transactions in and around the lofty neighborhoods of downtown Los Angeles and Lincoln Heights has fallen by 75% in the last year. So there are only 25% as many transactions happening now as there were a year ago. That's a very big drop in the amount of real estate that's being sold and purchased. Home prices in the area are down more than 4% during that time over the last year. Prospective home buyers say that they are in no hurry and they are content to wait many months or years before making a home purchase. And believe it or not, even the billionaires are diving for cover. The developer of some of the largest developments in California, Oceanwide Holdings, has run into financial issues deciding even recently, just a few days ago, to call it quits and to unload many of their properties, including the half-finished Oceanwide Plaza in downtown Los Angeles. This is a huge complex above uh, across the street from LA Live. The flat fee brokerage Purple Bricks has announced a while back, not too long ago, a withdrawal from the United States in July. That's just two months after closing its operations in Australia. Some chart watchers say that the recent political drama that we've seen has been designed to keep our eyes off of the real news. The real numbers show a weak market, a weak real estate market that may soon bring a repeat of 2007 as far as what happened that to that real estate crash, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. And San Francisco is seeing drops in the real estate market. The San Jose area saw a decline of 22.2% from last year. And Manhattan, New York, has been crashing for three years. And some markets are up. Salespeople and the real estate industry continue to put their best spin on things but the numbers are clear. Nationwide sales of previously owned single-family homes and attached properties both fell from October to November, according to recent data by the Greater San Diego Association of Realtors. Single-family home sales fell 13% from 1,890 in October to 1,644 in November, while the number of attached properties sold dipped by 24.1%, which was 980 in October and down to 744 last month. Sales of both property types continue to trend down from the housing market's 2019 high water mark in May. 
Uh, for downtown Los Angeles, that was more like uh, high water mark in May of 2018. Those who are spending big bucks on renting the same place for many years should be aware that renters are usually the biggest losers of all because they stand virtually no chance of getting any of their money back. With time, homeowners find positive long-term returns even when they purchase at the top of the market. Now, speaking of dead, Google Trends shows that the topic of real estate appears quite lifeless. If you take a look at um, this Google Trends chart, this is the real estate term in Google Trends. Google Trends is basically telling you how hot this topic is, how many people are searching for it, and so forth. So as you can see, the search term real estate has just gone down and down and down, and now it's at an all-time low. So the whole subject of real estate is a fallen topic. Real estate prices in downtown Los Angeles and many other areas are facing substantial downward pressure. This already, un this already unstable situation has a major risk of colliding with a major recessionary down cycle sooner rather than later. We are in no way saying that real estate is completely dead, totally, or permanently dead. There are always bright spots, and there's always a bright future. There is a bright future for golden California real estate, especially if the state gets a handle on high taxes, taxes that are too high, and homeless issues like homeless encampments, tents, and uh, trash, uh, human feces, and uh, used needles, you know, piling up on the sidewalks. So if those issues are taken care of, we could count on a bright future for California. At the moment, the financial gurus, if you read ab about what they're saying, the, uh, you know, Wall Street finance executives, they're agreeing that we face an uncertain global economic outlook. The numbers show that now may be the m among the most lucrative time to sell before real estate gets hit with a big global recession wallop. So find out what the home down the street sold for. Get a free list of recently sold lofts, condos, or houses in the area, in any area. This is the wrong form, by the way. But until I fix it, you could still fill it out and say, please send me a list of ho homes and prices for homes that sold in downtown or Pasadena or Riverside or, um, you know, Seattle, Washington, if you really want me to dig up some information for you. And uh, that's it. Decay, ruin, are you dead, real estate. Well, that sounds like it was someone who was not speaking English uh, who is, speaks English as their second language. In fact, if you look at the license plates and cars and uh, this area, that's actually in, um, I believe, Valencia, Spain. So even Valencia, Spain is asking uh, if real estate is dead. So thanks for taking a look. I'm Corey Chambers in Los Angeles. As I mentioned, a property information packet of any property around LA or anywhere uh, is available. Just uh, ask for it. And uh, if you have a home you'd like to sell uh, and you'd like to find out how much you could sell your home for, just uh, give us a call at 213-880-9910 now. And thank you so much. Corey Chambers in Los Angeles, your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy it. And you take care. Bye-bye.